Hi, we are live from Radio Street Dance Studio yeah. via Durant Powell, and we are with my name is Cole Redhorse Jacobson, and I'm from the Prairie Island Indian Community. Okay, and so Cole, I see that uh, I've seen your art all over, and um, I've seen your dancing and your art shows in your outfit. Can you explain a little bit about your outfit? Um, well, I didn't actually make my, a lot of my outfit. I made some pieces. Um, so I'm. So first, I'll say that I'm Milwaukee, Dakota, and we're Eastern Dakota. We were originally woodland people, and so I really, I, I would always look. And I also would use these as a reference and inspiration for my art. And I would look at these old photos um, from my community, and they were wearing very, very woodland um, florals, um, just like what I'm wearing. I, I modeled this outfit, um, you know, piece by piece. I, I uh, um, like to support other artists and other Native people, and um, you know, I put my outfit together. But I also consider it to be a really big expression of myself. You know, as dancers, we're, you know, for us, dancing is a form of artwork, it's, it's a form of expression, and so, you know, I kind of, it all comes together for me, even though I didn't make everything that I have on. Um, <clears throat> so, you know, uh, and a lot of people from my community and a lot of Dakota people too, they don't really understand that background, that history, and so it's also a historical thing for me, and, um, you know, I, I so, you're teaching all of that. Fashion, it's not through fashion, but through your, your attire. Yeah. Yes, and um, I always tell my students that um, when they're stuck on what design or what to go with, I'm like, go with who you are. Yeah. It's the easiest way it resonates. It, you know, it comes from a long line of history. Yeah. So I love seeing that you have incorporated the Dakota Falls. Yeah, and so then that, that also, all of that also influences what I do and the work that I want to express because you know I want to tell my people's story too. And we have a my people have a really uh, significant relationship with the state of Minnesota with our with our you know the US government and so you know I, I spent a lot of time talking about that relationship um, and so that's uh, I, I've, I've done ledger art for a really long time since like 10 years um, so I've been able to express a visual language and I've also done I've even uh, um, you know, progress more of that by expressing that history that my people, specifically my band of people, have, um, and um, and by using that visual language. Um, and so that so that's what a lot of my of what my work is about. So, so where did you learn um, about ledger art, or did you go to school for it, or? Um, so I actually went to uh, art school. I went to the Minneapolis College of Art and Design in Minneapolis, and um, I graduated in 2017 with my Bachelor of Fine Art. Congratulations! Thank you. <laughs> and. Um, uh, so I, I was trained in like classic, you know, like, like uh, not traditional, but right. what they consider traditional painting and drawing. Um, but I also took what I learned there um, in thinking about things critically. It is, it's called critical thought, it's critical theory. And it's really thinking about like what you're doing, like why you're doing it, like the reason why you're doing, you know, everything that you're, you're putting on to physical form. It's not just form. a random No, picture. yeah, yeah, you really can't, I, I mean, from what I understand about art is like you can't, um, necessarily do something just because it, you want it to be aesthetically that way like a lot of times you have to really be able to explain what it is you're doing and so um i, I but I've, I've known about ledger artists since i was a teenager i, I was inspired by many ledger artists that are really Who's prolific your today um i would say the one that i really look to a lot is tom halkus um i I'm, i've become friends and colleagues with many ledger artists since so like lauren did they Really amazing um, artist. She was very inspiring to me too. Um, Daryl Growing Thunder. Yes. Um, George Flett. Yeah. 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 That's my so, favorite. Many, many people that I I, I studied and um, but I you know but I also learned the history about it. But I, I said Tom Halkus because he really brought he, you know he's been doing ledger art since the seventies. So he's really brought it. Him and his sister as well, Linda. They really brought that art form. Um, you know, forward right. as, as an art form. You know, before it was strictly a visual language. It was not, I mean, it was art, but we, we don't have a word for art in Dakota, right. you know? So it was just their way of telling a story. And so, um, and that's kind of what your clothing yeah. is doing. It's telling yeah. a story. Mm -hmm. So, yeah. um, you know, everything you see, you might see, you know, colors that repeat or designs that are similar, but when you talk to the artists and the people, there's truly um, meaning and there's history behind it. So, I'm addicted to looking at Pinterest. Look at Pinterest, yeah. And um, I go on all kinds of um, 
art options and I, I'm obsessed with it. I'll spend hours yeah. looking at the pictures. Yeah. It's the clothing and the just the way that they made it was just unreal. Yeah. And the fact exactly. that you could tell what tribe they were and many times their clan or different things they have done in their life just some of their clothes. Yeah. Exactly. Well, I'm so glad to speak with you today, Cole. You're one yeah. of my faves. And <laughs> We enjoy um, seeing you, and we can't wait to see you. Do you want to give us a sneak peek? What are you working on now? Um, I don't have any pictures of it, but I just got done um, uh, doing a, a residency with the with the art center in the, in the, city, in the town that I live in. Yeah. And I was able to do a piece on textile, a textile piece. I don't really. I've always drawn on paper, you know, canvas, and so I really wanted to express um, textile art, but also. With combining it with painting and drawing. Okay. So, and what's textile art? Textile, I mean, you know, like what we, we would consider textile art, like applique, or oh, like, okay, you okay. know, like, like, you know, making traditional, like, textiles, I don't know. I but, you. you know, so that's what I consider. So I wanted to combine, you know, like, textile work or applique work, you know, stuff that we do, like, we, we the, where we manipulate, we as Native people manipulate, you know, fabric to make right. these, to make our regalia, to make our, our things, you know, whatever, our sacred things. Um, but I, I used, um, I, I, I painted on it, uh, on a part of it, and I wanted it to, to be, it's not done yet, so I can't say can't so. wait, so yeah. stay tuned. Yeah, yeah. How do, how do they um, buy your art, or how do they get a hold of you? Um, so I'm on Instagram, I do have a website, it's www.artbyredhorse.com, um, and I, you know, you, you can contact me on there, you can follow me on Instagram, it's Cole Redhorse Jacobson. Um, you, you come up quick, Cole, I mean, oh, honestly, like, like, when we met you, then it's been very quickly that we have seen you, like, showing, like, hey, I have a gift, and that's what it's all about, it's about sharing your gift, so thank you for sharing. Yeah, no problem, thank you for listening to me talk. Yes. <laughs> and, and stay tuned, because uh, she's got more to come. Yeah, thank you, Sadama.